Welcome to Space Engineers, and I'm Despair. Today we're going to be working on an attack ship, and it's going to feature a turret upside down. So I built this little piece that I can build on and still get underneath the ship. So let's get started. So an important part of ships now is being able to dock them with a connector. An easy way to connect one of these and still keep it as low as possible is the little trick that I just did with the uh, putting your armor right on the landing gear. And then I can just take that back out. Now this configuration I want for this ship, the only thing I don't like about it is it kind of uses a few of these connectors which don't hold cargo. I wish they had better shapes for other, like the medium container. I'm pretty much forced to put this in so I can turn this big forward. And in a way, this dictates a lot of what I'm going to do with the ship. See, I've got that big. And I need this down. And sideways. So... Either way I put this, it's not going to make me happy for what I want. I want missiles out the sides and connector on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is put this to the sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in two more of these connectors. Or I mean cargo containers. Now let's set this up for a mirror. This is going to get it spaced away from my ship and give me room for more missiles for a reloadable missile launcher. This cockpit has a small connector right there. And underneath, that's going to be my turret. And the reason why is for attacking like pirate bases. I'll have this turret to just fire on them. It can fire on dogs. So all around it's a pretty good little plan. Thank you. 
and in the front quad machine guns so quad machine guns a turret two missiles this obviously is going to be my heavy attack ship and it is pretty heavy And since it's heavy like this, we're going to have to think about what is it going to take to keep this thing flying. And of course the answer is four large atmospheric thrusters. Should be plenty. Now I'm going to throw a bunch of heavy armor in and we just have to be careful about these missile launchers So right now what I'm trying to do is frame this out and get kind of a general shape. That's going to be the shape coming into the front and I need this armor on the side. And I want to link this down into the cockpit somehow. And then I want this probably not quite as heavily armored so I can probably use these little slant blocks. At least the width of it. Like so. The bottom's going to need some armor. I don't want any of this hit from the bottom. If this is intended to take out pirate bases, this is all going to take a lot of shots right in here. 
that can be kind of flat too. It'll be all right. I'm going to put some armor over these guns. I'm just going to make it like so. And that way this gun still has a nice free arc of fire right to the front. So like I said, this needs armor all the way across. I know this is going to weigh a lot, but if I'm intending to take down pirate bases with this thing, you have to either consider really fast and maneuverable or really able to take a pretty good beating. Okay, before we go any farther, we need to think about engines. And I'm thinking this is going to need at least four. So if I put them in like that, that gives me my four engines, and they're tucked in relatively close. Let's take a look. Okay. So I'm going to run my armor out to here. Okay, so next up, 
batteries. I really switched a lot of these to uh, batteries instead of reactors because it makes sense for on the planet when you're mining this thing can just charge and be ready to go so four of these engines three batteries that will probably get me by. This back piece, I'm just going to run a little piece of light armor out. And let's see how an engine hooks up. Probably right there, just run it out one more. The other little thing that I do for all my ships, um, I always throw in a little reactor. Given enough time, this thing will charge all of your batteries. I know one isn't enough, but I'm just saying, um, in an emergency, when all else fails, that little back, little reactor will charge your batteries. And now I need some forward thrusters. Now I generally leave them rather light. But for this particular build, we're going to go a little bigger.
And I still want to protect these from ground fire a little bit. So. So now it's just a matter of detailing a little bit here in the back. How do you try to get some connection between these pieces? You wouldn't want to lose this engine and all this armor just fall off onto the ground. Since this is all connected, if I lose this engine, it'll still protect everything else. Too bad. Let's see if we can do anything about this. Probably not. Mm, not really. We need to cover this up though. Not bad. If it flies, not bad.
We all know it's kind of like flying a ship, like a big battleship instead of an airplane. Okay, so I wish these pirates weren't so far away. Look at that. My caps lock is always on. Make this a blueprint. We go. Griffin gunship. Publish. So I'm thinking you could probably use one more battery. Don't know where you put it. That is one thing about these atmospheric flyers. They uh, don't seem to be able to take a whole lot of damage.
I guess I better leave that to the computer to control. Anyway. Hope you all enjoyed.